play Dr. Penny Cartwright in Dr. Doctor. And my name is Angus McLaren and I play Dr. Toke in Dr. Doctor, season two. Yay. Good to be here. Nice to be here. We've got some questions from, from you, so... Mm, sure. And please ask away. We're, we're, we're here for half an hour, so... And they come through live, so if there's any fresh questions you want to ask, uh, send them on yeah. through. Should we jump in? Yeah. Are you ready? It. Yeah, go for it. Born ready. Yeah. Okay. Hayley, what has surprised you the most about filming season two? Um, oh. Well, I mean, I was very excited about doing season two because I loved doing season one and I loved everyone I work with and... What was your... Um, can I ask a question? Yeah. What was your favourite bit about season one? Uh, the people. Yeah. It's, it's the people I get to work with every day. They're amazing. And, um, and I just love acting, so I get to do it every day. Mm. But you know what's been amazing is working with you. This is really? all new. Thank you. And it's been an absolute pleasure working with you, and I've uh, learned a lot. And <laughs> oh, so, yeah, I'd say the it's, same. It's been a, a great, wonderful surprise in my life. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to echo that. It's been a good journey so far. Yeah. And it's just beginning. You're just seeing it now, so yes. this, is, this is exciting. Yeah. Uh, another one for you. You're very popular. Yes. Hayley, did you enjoy filming in Mudgee? Love Mudgee. Amazing. You mm. like Mudgee I, too. Yeah, I can yeah. jump in here and say that I've that was my first time in Mudgee. Yeah. Went to the Mudgee races. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. I mean, because we all go there to film, so we're all there together. And um, we get to have meals and enjoy the beautiful wine and produce. And it's a really nice atmosphere mm. there. And the locals are very... Mm lovely people so much yummy food there yeah yeah love Mudgee and it doesn't it look great on screen it really photographs well don't you think yeah it looks so beautiful I want to talk about when we went in the big car in the <laughs> the, hot, the, hot, the in we the were driving oh the okay big. so we um, fell in love with this radio station yeah and um, look you know I don't think it's going to spoil anything but there is there is a hot air balloon in one of the episodes that we shot in Mudgee mm. and as we were approaching the site to film that day on the radio comes up up and away in my beautiful it was a magical moment wasn't it it was quite yeah, yeah. I think Mudgee might have some magic in the earth yeah so what do you love most about your characters mm. I love how Penny's really professional and good at her job she's really loving she um, is kind and intelligent and has a really great sense of humor <laughs> that was really good <laughs> wow okay what do you uh, like about dr toke uh dr toke he he's very intuitive which i really admire about the character he's <laughs> spent time he spent time in some pretty uh hardcore environments in terms of he's, he's an ex-military man so he's seen some pretty horrific things and that he's made a decision to be as, uh, as positive and to bring as much good as he can into the, into his world so I really admire that about Dr. Toke and he's, he's quite brave in terms of uh, he's, he wears his emotions on his sleeve so I yeah. think it's really cool It's so funny watching <laughs> Penny and Toke together because in, it kind of makes sense but it also doesn't make sense and I think that's I where the humour is they go miss each other a lot of the time. Yes. You know, she's a professional single mother, and um, you know he's into kind of different things. <laughs> but it's that's what's the beauty of the it's show. The yin and the is, yang. Yeah, watching these two trying to figure it out. They do a lot of kissing though. They're very, they're they're very, very they're good. Get, at they're on the same page. About they're it. on the same page when it comes to the kissing, and you'll you'll be able to see that. Lucky you. Lucky me. <laughs> what sort of fun? happens on set um oh. it's a two-part question but I'll, I'll start with this you one. make yes. me laugh what's a, mm, we've had a few few corpsing scenes oh terrible mm. terrible um, the times where you can't when the pressure's yeah. on where the, it's you which might, is all the time really because it time. wastes time if you're laughing in the middle of a take so you know you're trying to suppress that desire which makes it worse when when takes like saying something really s stupid mm. um in penny's eyes um and you have to suppress it. So I did a lot of eye rolling, but inside I'm screaming with laughter. Yeah. Um, when you're not meant to do it, I don't know. It, it just it, the tension is yeah. where the, it's. I mean, a lot of that's <laughs> a lot of good stuff comes out of humour. I mean, the best actors have that 
have funny bones, you know, like have a. You've, I've heard you say that before. Yeah, oh, I really yeah. like that. If you think about any actor yeah. that you love, they have funny bones. They, they are doing something that is serious, but you have that kind of quality <laughs> of. And you, rec- and you know why you laugh? Because you recognise it. You recognise mm. you do that in life. Um, it's really well put. I've never heard anyone put it like that. Oh, really? It's, yeah, it's, it's true. Oh, no, it's, it's essential. About I mean, in the end, it's taste. You, know, you like an actor yeah, or you don't like an actor. But the actors that I love are the ones that have that kind of quality, that funny bone quality. You have that quality. Oh, thank you. It's true. <laughs> and the second part of it, who's the funniest? Oh, Oh, that's really difficult. That is quite difficult. Because, ev- see, everyone's so funny. The other day, Charles Wu was making me laugh. He plays Ken in the show. He wasn't even trying to. Yeah, that's why he's so brilliant. <laughs> oh, God. <coughs> so funny. And then, of course, I was trying to suppress the laughter, which made Belinda Bromelow laugh, who plays Betty. Uh, so, you know, so much fun being had at that hospital. The other day, I was laughing because um, I... I found it difficult to pronounce some medical terms, which is part of my job, I know, but... Could you say the medical terms now? Um, I can say them now, now that we're not shooting. Mm. Um, rhabdomyolysis and um, uh, diocise, which I had learnt dialysized. Um, <laughs> Wait. And so I got to set and everyone was like, Hayley, it's diocise. And what does that mean? You're going to have dialysis. I'm so a- that's why I learned it as dialysized. Mm. Just for those, and anyway, I'm an actor, I'm not a medical professional. What? No, no. That's news to me. I do save lives in my hope, though. Yes. Do you read up on and understand all the medical terms you use? Oh, no. That's amazing. That's Just amazing, answer that question. Amazing timing. Um, well, yes, I like to get as much information as I can about anything before I act. I think. You've got to be super curious if you want to be yes, an actor. And you've got to get the script and then figure out, you know, what it is you're saying. So, of course. So, there's been a lot of YouTubing. We, I mean, you did an operation. What did you do? Well, I was very, very lucky that is it that was this a... Is that episode or coming up? Y- not in this one. All right. Coming but up, he... Yeah, there's a... There's get a, in scrubs. Get in scrubs. I'm very lucky my mum's actually a nurse, oh, so I yeah. had the, the benefit of being able to call my mum and ask her a couple of questions about words, but uh, <laughs> YouTube was actually a really good uh, yeah, asset YouTube's as well. Amazing. They have some pretty hardcore stuff on there in terms of they, they had a video graphic. of very graphic of open heart surgery. Mm. and Yeah, but we mm. also have someone on set, a medical expert on yes. set. Um, so, you know, because it's, it's um, really important that we we have all this witty dialogue, but that we also look no looks like we know what we're doing, and then it's credible that we look like doctors. Yes. So we've got great people helping us out with that. Medical experts. Indeed. Oh, do you want to ask? Yeah, a sorry, Angus. No, that's all right. You're hogging it. Um, Angus, Angus, Angus. Um, yeah, yeah. Which of the cast do you think could have, should have been a doctor in real life? Could have, should have. Mm. Which of the cast do you think could have, should have been a doctor in real life? I would love to see Charles Wu as a, as a real doctor. <laughs> yes. He would be the best doctor to go and see. Yeah. He'd put your mind at, at ease oh, straight away, wouldn't he? Make you giggle and give yeah. you a hug. Even if the news was terrible, mm. you'd walk out with a smile. I think Betty. Betty, Betty would be a great doctor. Um, Angus, what would be your dream role to play? Dream role to play? I'll say it straight up. When I was a kid, I definitely wanted to be in a Star Wars film. Oh, it was yeah. a specific role, but I definitely... And I never thought that they'd remake mm. them, and they have. So, uh, something there. Also, this is going to sound like a stranger, John Proctor from The Crucible. Is oh, something you'd be I amazing. I'd love to play. Yes. Mm. Oh, goody Proctor. <laughs> All right. Have so, you done it? Uh, in drama school. Maybe. I, I went to Whopper, and um, I played... What, what's her name? At... Abigail. 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 You remember Abigail? Yes, I remember. You sweated like a stallion. Yeah. And yeah. Great, great lines. Um, uh, thinking back over your career to date, which has been the greatest accomplishment as an actor, actress? I know this one. Uh, when I was quite young, I did a series called H2O mm-hmm. when I was in my teenage years and I had a line to say 
which was the atomic absorption spectra photometer. And I could not say that line oh, 13 goodness. times in a row. Yeah. Uh, it's because it's, uh, it's not a real thing. I learned no. that it's not actually a thing. It was a made up thing. Can't YouTube that. No. Atomic absorption spectra photometer. I ended up writing it on a piece of paper and sticking it just out of the camera here so I could read it. Yeah. And uh, finally got it. Didn't need the paper in the end. Actually said it and got it. And uh, that, was, that was quite an accomplishment for me. What, getting through that line? <laughs> getting through that line. Doing that role. Um, no, that role was actually an awesome time as well. I was yeah. perfect, like prime time. It's in my early teenage years. So that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, someone's here said, have you be, do you get recognised for your role on Pack to the Rafters and uh, H2O a lot? In Mudgy, I did. Did you? Yeah. Oh, what? Pack to the rafters? Yeah, I, yeah. for different uh, different demographics. I, mm. H2O seems to make a bit of a resurgence because mm. of Netflix, I think. Yeah. And rafters, yeah, when, certainly when it was on, it was. Um, oh, it was such quite, a popular show. It was. Yeah. Mm. And then you went off on to do what I did after. I went to where you yeah. went. Yeah. We followed in Haley's footsteps and yeah. went to Whopper. So after, yeah. was that straight after Pack to the Rafters, or was it? Uh, I went travelling for about. S- Six months, mm-hmm. and then yeah, made a decision and went went to Whopper. Good on you. Thank you so much. Yeah. We've we've been in the same yeah. Well, we, yeah, we, we've been in the same room. In the same room, just not at the same time, <laughs> but learning the same dance yeah. or learning the same. Show. Should we have a look what's on the uh, screen? Yes. Oh gosh, there we are. Have you got anything else to ask me? I do. Uh, Haley, mm-hmm. would you want to be in a series with your sister, Mandy? Mm. Well, yeah. Make it happen. You heard yeah. it here first. Yeah, this is yeah. I mean, Mandy have a McElhenney. petition. Maybe start a Facebook page, Haley. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, I would love to work. Uh, Mandy and I would love to work together, um, and I admire her greatly. Um, so uh, that'd be really fun. It'd be so. Great. Do you know what it would be? And Do you know what the show would be? Well, it'd be a show about sisters. I think it would be smart. Mm-hmm. It's probably yeah, yeah. but. Who knows? We'll see. We'll make it happen. Okay? We'll be back. Um, oh, it's so lovely. You've got any hearts and laughter. Um, oh, my God. It's frozen, too. though. Is that, I, is that for you? When did I sing? I'm losing my voice as well. I'm getting this um, thing. Flu-like symptoms appearing. Um, well, we, I, I'd love ask to ask question, you this question. Technical. What would be your dream role to play? Oh, gosh. Look, I, I'm, I'm, I've never been able to just like say that because mm. you know what? Mm. It's all, for me, it's all about the people I work with. So, in this show, we're working with incredible writers and producers. So Claudia Carvan's producing. Yes, she's so amazing. And Tony McNamara is writing and producing, mm-hmm. and Ian Colley is producing. So you've got these incredible. The A team. The A team, these credible people leading, leading the, leading this beast. Mm. So, you're so looked after, and, and it just trickles down. It's like any good leader, it trickles down. Mm-hmm. And so they've got this great writing, and then they hire these amazing actors that I get to act with, who make me look great, make me look better. So if I just sort of plucked a role out of the air, it would to me I would pluck the A team people out of the role. So it's all about the writing. It could be an, a brand new Australian play or a, you know, brand new series, but if it's got great people, I mean, mm. is that too vague? No, that's not vague, that's quite specific actually. I mean, I think it's important though, if you want to be an actor, like get curious about reading other roles and other scripts, but yes. make sure, oh. yeah, this, do you want to see what's <laughs> going on? I'll go on, on my phone. Make sure you know who, There's you no know, internet connection. who you're working with. That's not true. That's all right, I've got my phone. Let's do it the old school um, way. Is there anything here? Yes, I'd like to ask, uh, who was your childhood idol? Um, hmm. Look, I, I've always... Oh. I just... I've always been really obsessed with Meryl Streep. Um, obsessed. Do you know I met her? What? Yeah, I met Meryl Streep. Was this when you did the play? Yeah, in New York? I was in a play in... Um, New York, and she came and saw it, and she came backstage, and she hugged me. Yep. Did you did highlight you, a career highlight? Yeah, right there. I was gonna. When you this, what's your greatest accomplishment? Getting hugged by Mel. Yeah, Street, yeah, is that? yeah. 
Jeez, yours is a bit fancier than mine. So, yeah, I reached, reached the top there in the theatre and then I'm now working with the best people in television. I'm so lucky. That's great. I'm really, really lucky. Um, how is the show different to Rafters, Angus? Paige is asking this. Now that you're all grown up, she now says. Grown, that would be it. I guess I'm all grown yeah. up. It's, I'm seeing it through different eyes. There's obviously different people to work with. Mm -hmm. it's, a different, uh, it's a different energy on set. I'm both really wonderful. Uh, and the writing's a little bit different as well. So, uh, And I, I suppose when I started Rafters, I was coming on it from the beginning, and this one I'm coming on after there being a series. So uh, it's, uh, it's different, but in really awesome ways. Jamie's asking, will we see Penny much in season two now? She's leaving White. She's left Why Hope. Well, good question. Yeah. Jamie, I asked that when I read episode 10 last season. I bet you did. It's like, no, I can't leave Why Hope. I left you on a cliffhanger. Yes, but I come back. You can say that. Well, it's obvious. No, it's, I'm it's here, I'm employed. Yeah, it's, yeah. You made um, it to the end. It's true. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. But um, I'm really glad. I'm back. Um, oh, uh, oh, look, Kat. Hayley, is there any chance that your sister Mandy will appear uh, as a guest role? Maybe as a dif difficult patient who drives Penny bonkers? Good Not call, you should be Kat. on our That's writing good. team. That's really good. <coughs> really good. You okay? Well, do you want me to diagnose you? Flu like symptoms. Flu. Yeah, you definitely have the flu. Um, good thing we've stopped kissing. Mm. Uh, so yeah, that's a great storyline. Um, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, Angus, sorry to bring this up, oh but would you be down for an H2O reunion special? The fans are trying to make it happen. Well, make it happen. Yeah. Make the, the Look, we just want work. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. So yes, is, is the short answer to that for sure. Oh, isn't that great that people love that show? Get the show. crew back together. Yeah. It's, and I'm, it's so great that you're back on television because you clearly have an audience. You know, people really love your work. Hardly surprising. Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, it's very nice yeah. to be back. It's like... Uh... What do you picture in your mind when someone says mudgy? Karaoke. Far out. Yes, there was that night. <laughs> that is an awesome karaoke night on a Friday night. At the... At Kelly's. At Kelly's. <laughs> Top of the town. <coughs> Kelly's. Uh, wonderful place, wonderful establishment. It is. Look, people are just so lovely there. Um, and uh, there's a, the Roth's Wine Bar. Yeah, there was some awesome places there, actually. Yeah. There was um, Where did we go? There was the... Where we had the dinner. And then we went to Lowe's Winery. Really, really beautiful place. I mean... The landscape itself is... Yeah, is the landscape's amazing. beautiful. The produce, uh, the wine. <laughs> really, that's what I think of. And the people. Yes. And, and also the beautiful light, which is kind of essential for an actress or an actor to mm -hmm. think about. It's beautiful light. And Mudgy delivers. We all look really gorgeous. The, the, the golden, golden hour. The, yeah, they sh we shoot a lot in the golden hour. hour like what time is it going? Ma Terence Malick. Kind of like Terence Malick when you're there. Shooting in the golden hour and my hair glows. and It's, it's a good colour to glow. It's really, really good. Um, that's what I think of. The light. Can um, I ask you a question? Yes. Or is it this one? Hayley, what's it like having two men fight over you? For example... <laughs> Who asked that question? <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it really sucks. Mm. Um, it's part it. I just had to suck it up and do it. Um, yeah. Well, it's great. I mean... Against your wishes, you have to... It's jumping in. Yeah. Oh, I think that's... Is, is this refresh? Can we make this refresh? Refresh. What's your favourite colour? Um... Oh, it changes. Is it this? Green. Green? Yeah, I like green. Um, red and green. Mm -hmm. oh, so, oh, look, Amy loves Dr. Doctor. Amy Elizabeth. Thank you, Amy Elizabeth. Um, mm. Love watching the show. You guys are awesome. Um, I'll throw another one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I'd actually like to know this from you. 
Yes. What advice would you give to young people who want to get into acting? Oh, I love this. And I'll answer because now I'm an older lady. I feel like I can answer these questions. You know, it's be curious. Be uber curious. Yes. Um, so what what moves you, what excites you? If you really interest, it, like really love an actor or a director or a piece of art or a piece mm. of music, like eat it up. Um, go and see lots and lots of plays, watch lots and lots of television and film, mm -hmm. and um, open yourself up to the world. And remember that there is no one like you. That's beautiful. Those are the, th that's your mantra. There's no one like me, and I am open to art, and I want to absorb the world. Mm. That's my mantra. I second that. I think that was bang on. Oh, what would you? What, no, what I, would you do? What, uh, would you, what advice would you give? Yeah, I don't think there's any one way to necessarily exactly. learn acting. I think often. <coughs> oh, I just want to give you a lozenger or a, or a lemsit. Have you got a lemsit today? No, shouldn't be sucking mm -hmm. on a lozenger. I think uh, a lot of the time it's like were you surrounded by people who are storytellers? Did you have like a, a grandpa who told stories, or if if storytelling. It, if you can be around that as much as possible, and like Haley said, that's going to plays or, um, but watch, you know, there's some great television at the moment as well, and follow your passion, whatever that might be, even if it seems kind of unusual, the things that really light you up, explore those. And, uh, and then I suppose uh, there is an element of discipline, like any um, anything worthwhile doing, there's gonna be some times that you have to dig deep and, and be disciplined, but it's all worth it, so. Be curious, yes. Got another question? Um, yeah, uh, it says, um, uh, how many days is a shoot? Jody asked, how many days is a shoot? So, oh, yeah. um, that's a good question. So, we shoot 10 episodes, um, and we're shooting for about three months. Mm -hmm. um, so, one episode takes. Two, two weeks. weeks. What did you say? Two weeks. Yeah, two weeks. <laughs> well, the reason why I'm a bit vague is because you shoot two episodes at once. Mm. So um, it's, yeah, so it's called a block and you shoot two episodes at once. I didn't know that until I started television. <laughs> <laughs> and you also have a different director for those. For each block. For each block yeah. of two episodes, which is really cool because it keeps it fresh and it keeps it... Uh, there's a new energy coming into the series every time and they have a different idea of uh, parts of the show. So that's that's a really great aspect of it. Well, there's some, everyone's just saying some really lovely things. It's really nice. Thank you. Um, okay, something coming up. What was the last concert you went to back? Um, oh, um, oh, what was the last concert? I think... My husband and I went and saw Methyl Ethel. Mm -hmm. in Great Perth band. In Perth. Um, Haley's from Perth. And the Mountain Goats. Mountain Goats. So I, I can't remember which was the last one. What about you? I actually went and saw Methyl. Did you? <laughs> Methyl Ethel as well. Yes. Oh wow. In Sydney and. But before that, I went to Byron Bay Blues Festival for the first time, and I recommend that to anyone. Probably, like, if you like the blues, would would help, but any music lovers, I uh, highly recommend it. It's really fun. Some great, great bands. Alice um, Robertson wants to know, how is it coming into Dr. Dr. Angus? Like, what was it, actually, yeah, what yeah. was it like coming into this really established show? Well... I was really lucky that the, the first experience I had of the show was meeting you in the audition room. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Which is a pretty extraordinary experience. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Auditioning's really nerve-wracking. It's amazing. And anything can happen. Anything can happen, which is a really beautiful part of it. And I was fortunate that I, I clicked really well with Haley in the first moments of meeting, and, oh. and it, it helped uh, that process enormously. <laughs> Claudia... Carvin was there oh, in the yes. room as well, yeah. and Kirsty McGregor, the casting and director, was and Roger Corsa was yeah. there. So when I first went in, it was pretty overwhelming. And but yeah, everyone's so warm. Yeah, so I imagine totally. it would have been really 
Nice. Yeah, it was. Even though you were nervous. Of I course, imagine. yeah, you can't. I don't think you, you, you mm. can be human if you're not nervous walking into one of those yeah. things. But uh, we had a lot of fun in the audition, so you that did. it sort of set the tone. We started working straight away. Mm. Um, so yeah, that was really good. You know what I mean? By start <laughs> working, like I we do. started playing. Um, yeah. And then it was good to because it was just kind of important to see that you with Roger as well because yeah. that kind of dynamic of. What Dr. Toke does to Hugh Knight, I think, is really interesting and funny. You know, it's, it's a two way street. Pushes, say he, he, pushes <laughs> Hugh's buttons. Mm. Two way street. Yeah, totally, totally. Mm. They're fighting over you. I mean, it's so, it's so fun to watch that. And Roger's that really Brit? good at that. Roger's really good. Britt Clark. Oh, Britt! <laughs> Young lady playing Mia has popped into the question. Oh, if you had to name your band, what would it be? Hi, Britt. I had this yesterday. I had this great uh, name. I don't know. Maybe the Mudgy Players. That's pretty good. Um, the Mudgy Smugglers. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be used. <laughs> has to be used. Um, something referencing mu Mudgy. Um, yeah. Hmm. Good question, Brett. Yeah. I I wish I was a rock star. Can I be a part of that band? Yeah, well, you are. Yes. Um, you're, just, you're just in the band in now. In Brit and Mark, Brit. Brit's in the band, Brit's too. Brit's in the band. So, yeah, Brit plays Mia. Yes. Shut up. <laughs> Roger's in the band. Charles yeah. in the band. Yeah. Everyone in the cast the is mudgy, in the band. The Mudgy Smugglers. That's um, it. What's the best film you've seen, you've filmed so far? Um, Stevie asked that. Um, it's, uh, oh... I don't want to give it away too much, um, mm. but there's been some. You've had some good stuff lately. Haven't yeah, I? there's. I have like we just shot something um, yesterday actually with this camera on a crane, and I, I love all that stuff with when it comes to real showbiz stuff. So the camera was on the crane and it pans up and it's a, it shows this whole scene, but it starts off really small and it went really big and it was just. I know this sounds really vague, but I don't want to give anything away. But it was no spoilers here. it was just really great to see that machinery in action. Mm. There was also um, we also had to shoot a car driving, but it wasn't driving. The, but it looks this like it driving just like in Hollywood. What do you mean? Don't say too much. I didn't say that. Um, but it looks it was like Hollywood. There was even a wind machine. Oh, in your hair. Amazing. You're like Marilyn Monroe. Okay, that's all we're going to say. Don't I give anything it. away. I, <laughs> I said beam <coughs> Metris. Um, so you, if, you, if you're just sort of catching up, you can always watch um, the season one and show the shows that you miss on TV on yes. Nine now. Yes, you can. Catch up te television. Which leads us um, to a question. Favourite Channel 9 show to catch up on? Doctor, Fire. Doctor, always. Doctor, Doctor, Doctor. Doctor. So you can watch it on Catch Up. Um, so you know there might be some people out there who haven't seen series one mm. and you can see that um, if you're interested um, will you be visiting uh, can I say this one yeah. Angus please tell Jessica my six year old that it's time for bed Aww. Aww. is it though yeah yes. maybe ten minutes oh. ten minutes more tell he's not a father <laughs> not yet ten no, minutes more and then and then maybe it's time for bed, have some Jessica. ice cream and help uh, a mother out. No, sorry, yeah, uh, yes, yes, uh, Rosalie, it's it's definitely time for uh, for Good Jessica night, to go to bed. Well, it's time to go. Do, 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 do. Good night, sweetheart. Yeah. Good night, Jessica. Good night, Jessica. Um, Paige wants to be in the band as well. Great, you're in <laughs> playing bass. So. Um, uh, um, Sue loves the show. Okay, I might have to refresh it. Yes. So I think I think we've covered this sheet. Your questions have been awesome, by yeah, the way, so far. This you. has been really good. Um, 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 <laughs> gosh, we've answered everything. Yeah. Um, there some people are concerned about my health. Um, I. I sound worse than I am. You've got some, what is it, tea antioxidants? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, totally. And 
I've had the garlic. <laughs> had the garlic, wouldn't even know it. <laughs> Apparently had two cloves of garlic, wouldn't even know. Um, so thank you very oh. much for loving the show. Thank you for watching. Yes. It's really um, great to have your support. We love making the show and it's, it means a lot that you watch it. Absolutely. What's this? What's this? Um, Silver Sun. What's that? S ah, yes. What's that? I was in a sci-fi series when I was a young, young teenager. Really? Gosh, yeah, it flew to the Silver done Sun. So much. Yes, it was a really fun series, and and it sort of had a bit of a place in people's hearts, and it kind of ended on a cliffhanger of the whole mm -hmm. crew flying into a black hole, yeah. uh, to say to be continued, <laughs> and was never continued. And it never continued. <laughs> so that was like. Yeah, a bit. I think a little bit traumatic for for young for young viewers, but uh, it was a really fun show to do. So maybe we'll continue continue it like twenty years down the track. Yeah. Where are they? Like They're just still just hurtling through space somewhere. I know. Moment. It'd be like um, Star Trek. Yes. Um. <clears throat> so it never gets boring on set. Um, that's for sure. Haley, I think you should be home in bed. Yeah, I told I'm you. Guessing you're guessing you're. Spreading your jokes, like it's, it's, I know, but I, I um, I already, I've already been. Sick. Oh, there, is there going to be a season three? I hope so. If you keep watching, yeah, yes, um, if you keep watching and keep asking really great questions, I hope yes. so too. Because we're still in the mid, we're still shooting this season. Did mm. you know that? Um, we're still shooting it. Um, so there's ten episodes, and we're just finishing off the last two episodes. So, um, and I'm just going to miss everyone terribly. Me too. So, yeah, I hope there's a third season. I just love playing Penny. Um, Do you find it sad to say, say goodbye to characters? Well. Do you, Penny seems like a character you would find it hard to say goodbye to. Uh, I don't really feel like I say goodbye. Okay. Like in a death way. No. <laughs> um... Because it only exists on the page. Mm. I know oh. I sound mad, but um, yeah, I don't go home feeling mm. like a different person. You're not Daniel Day Lewis in. <laughs> I was obsessed with Daniel Day Lewis as a child. I, I still am, actually. Yeah, so me too. He is incredible. And he's retired. It's all frozen, sorry. I'll well, see if I can refresh it. Well, here we are, slowly, slowly. Um, and I think the when, show is starting oh God, soon. Don't miss the show. Don't miss the show. Don't, get I don't home, want to miss the show. Warm, Look, it's been rumble. really, really, really great. It's frozen anyway, so, so I think we should wrap sign. it up. But it's just been great talking to you. Mm. And thank you again for watching the show. Um, and um, I really hope you enjoy it. I, I know so I, I. I really enjoyed making it, and I think it looks really great. So enjoy it. Bye. Good night. <laughs>